A LOCAL ANIMAL HOSPITAL IS ASKING PET OWNERS TO STEP UP. THE HOSPITAL RECENTLY OPENED A BLOOD BANK AND THEY NEED DONORS TO BOLSTER THEIR SUPPLY. WLKY'S TIM ELLIOTT IS LIVE IN THE NEWSROOM WITH MORE ON THIS. TIM? WELL, RICK, BLOOD TRANSFUSIONS FOR PETS ARE ON THE RISE. TRAUMA, SURGERY, CANCER, ALL THOSE THINGS MAY REQUIRE YOUR PET TO GET A BLOOD DONATION. NOW A TEAM OF LOCAL DOCTORS AND VET TECHS ARE TRYING TO GET THE WORD OUT ABOUT THIS NEED FOR DONORS SO THEY CAN CONTINUE PROTECTING PETS. The staff at Jefferson Animal Hospital save lives around the clock. We've been open 24 hours for 34 years. Now they're asking pet owners to do the same. We're getting a nice um, list of donors. We just need more of them. The demand for feline and canine blood is increasing year to year. So several months ago, the hospital decided to open up its very own blood bank. Which we're very proud of. Yeah. We worked really hard and we did a lot of research to get what we needed. Part of that process? Purchasing this $15,000 centrifuge. This spins the blood down, uh, separates it, so you get your red blood cells are separated from the plasma. Before the blood bank, the hospital would have to purchase blood products from out of state as far away as California. That practice was expensive and became impractical as demand increased. This is canine blood. Having the blood on site makes everything easier. We're using everything we're collecting, though. We gave three transfusions last weekend, so we're collecting blood, but we just need more donors. The demand for canine blood is higher, especially around the holidays. On holiday weekends, we use a lot of blood because of hit by car traumas or major abdominal surgeries. Uh, some of the big breeds might take two pints or three pints. They want to help all pets in the metro area. We want to be able to supply our needs and also the area veterinarians' needs. Like this little Rottweiler pup, who's now ready to go home. All good. Say all good. All done. Now, the Jefferson Animal Hospital is holding their Spring Health Fair this Saturday from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Fern Creek location. That's over on Bardstown Road. Now, if your pet qualifies for a blood donor, you can get free vaccines and checkups, things like that. Dog and feline blood expire in about a month, so the supply always needs to be restocked. Reporting live in the newsroom, Tim Elliott, WLKY News.